the entire progress, what we're doing, rests on the shoulders of the swamis, our senior sadhaka, our junior sadhaka, our little tiny small aspirants, and our initiate membership, who have been so loyal and so strong all these many, many years, sacrificing and giving and renouncing. And now through living with Shiva, we've asked our initiates and novitiates all over the world to make the supreme renunciation of Western way of living, Western clothing, Western thinking, Western behavior, and Western idealism and goals for motivation. And I'd like to urge each and every one to put into action in your life what you have learned. Don't expect to be taught again and again and again the same things. Put into action in your life pranayama. Only need to learn it once, then do it every day. Don't wait to be told. If you've been initiated and received Om Namah Sivaya and have failed to perform your japa 108 times a day, then make it up. Suppose you didn't do it for a whole year. Okay, sit down. Do 108 Om Namah Sivaya on your Rudraksha beads 365 times. At least be right with yourself. Nobody's checking up on your spiritual progress, but there's somebody inside of you that's watching. Those of you who received the Vishesha Diksha and are required by it to uphold certain standards that you vowed before the gods, God, she himself. And if you fail to perform that Saibat Marta Puja daily for maybe in the last five years, perhaps you may have missed 60 of them. Probably had a very good reason for doing so, but not good enough. Sit down. Morning, noon, and night. And do 60 extra Saibat Marta Pujas so that you are right with yourself. Only the results of your sadhana can you take to your next birth. Only the perfections in your character and your nature can you carry with you, birth after birth after birth, leading to mukti. So, have your goal clearly in mind. The Vedas don't ask a lot. And all of our work is based on the Vedas, through the great gurus of our parampara. They don't ask a lot. They say, behave yourself. Don't hurt other people. When you make a promise, keep it. Be a good person, a worthy person. And here are the techniques and the methods to keep this process going throughout your life. Hatha yoga, pranayama, meditation, concentration, japa yoga, temple worship, pilgrimage, Reading scripture, listening to sermons of the Swamis, maintaining a cultural standard that is, is acceptable to Hindu communities throughout the world. It's 
not a lot, but for those who were raised in the Western way, it truly is a complete overhaul. You sort of have to die and come back all new and learn how to do things all over again. But the results are so sweet, the results are so nice. So, have your goal clearly in mind. And make the tantras and the methods work for you. Develop them within yourself. If you don't see God everywhere, be concerned about it. Say, there's something wrong with me. I don't see God everywhere. Somehow I see more places where I think God is not than where he is. Something's wrong with me. Let's fix it. And then there are other methods to fix that too. Look, if your subconscious mind is clouded and full of misconceptions and areas of past experiences that you haven't been able to deal with and packed it away, we have methods. The Agni Yoga Sadhana, the Ganga Sadhana, and other sadhanas to clear the subconscious mind so that the mind rests in its natural state and you see God everywhere. It just becomes an obvious fact. when experiences come to you. You find yourself blaming others, blaming uh, life. What did I do to deserve that? Obviously, you don't understand the law of karma after all these years. That should be a concern to you. Something's wrong. You missed out somewhere. Talk to the swamis. Talk to each other. Talk to someone who you know relates his life to the laws of karma and can explain away happenings as being those of your own creation that maybe in this life you know you didn't do, but maybe you created them in a past life. Take it seriously. Don't wait to be told a second, a third, a fourth, or fifth, or sixth, or seventh, or eighth, or ninth, or tenth time the same thing, the same philosophy, and process the words and say, that's wonderful, that's my religion. And then behave in the same way that you behaved all your life, even before you heard of karma, before you heard of reincarnation, before you heard of the existence of God everywhere. That's the message that we open our external New Year with is the second year of Yerevan Temple. Yerevan Temple is in its second year. A shining, beautiful crystal temple. It brings a spirit of attainment. To get results. Don't look for the other person to get results for you. That's a Western method, going to somebody else to do something for you. By self-effort, use of willpower, and of course if there's love in the heart chakra and the will, it makes it that much more sweet. Self-effort, with the goal clearly in mind, using the techniques that you've learned through strong will and self-effort, what? Well, you should attain mukti in this life. Not have to come back in a physical body. That's the aim, that's the goal for all Hindus. It's the big promise of the Vedas. Prophecies of all the rishis. 
and not have to take on a physical body again. But reach the feet of Shiva, merge with Shiva, and then exist in a more refined body, maybe even able to help humankind, if you're so inclined. To our beautiful path of Saiva Sadhana Church and our teaching institution, Himalayan Academy, to dance with Shiva, teach you to live with Shiva. And as you practice and perfect these arts, you will surely merge with Shiva. If you sit in a darkened room and you do not see a white light glowing within your head, take it seriously. Something wrong that you can do something about. Especially all the initiates, you've been given the tools. Use them. The well-trained sadhaka, well-trained swamis, well-trained yogis can inspire you, but you have to do the work yourself. Beautiful temples that will uplift you, but you have to do the work yourself. Within yourself, sit in a darkened room until you find that light inside. Don't give up. If you cannot hear the high-pitched E sound, the Nada Nadi Shakti ringing in your head within your shrine room. Something's wrong. Fix it. You can be a self motivating Saivite. If your missions aren't expanding and growing year by year as the family grows and expands, something's wrong. Fix it. Get your teaching programs going. Spread the eternal truth of Saivism. Inspire and uplift by lifting up yourself so that you can inspire and uplift. This is why you're born on earth. You're not born to eat or to earn money and eat. Not just that. You were born for the fullness of a life of spiritual, social, cultural, and economic balance. Knowing that, then see that it is in your life too. Don't work so hard at whatever you're doing that you sacrifice the spiritual, the social, and the cultural. Because the results of what you do will pay bitter dividends. And don't be so lazy that you can't do what you should be doing because you're not doing anything at all. Slothfulness, laziness, inertia are the greatest disease of spiritual unfoldment that has been indebted on the planet. <coughs> do something about it. Fix it. You have the tools. And those new members who don't have the tools, come to our swamis and yogis and sadhaka and they give you the tools, but they then expect you to use them. And you'll soar ahead in spiritual unfoldment beyond your greatest expectations. So we're all moving together as a great team in this Hindu Renaissance. 
and we've joined hands with Swamis and religious leaders, Mahasanitadams, throughout the world, We're working together to bring the truth of the Vedas to humankind so that all can rejoice in their perfection. And we see you as absolutely perfect. Every minute of every hour, of every week of every month of the year. Now, if you don't see yourself as absolutely perfect, then fix it. Choose the Tantra that fixes the disease of not being able to see yourself as absolutely perfect. There is one for that. You know what it is. Use it. Realize your perfection. Then when it fades and you find some problem coming up, deal with it, work with it. Make it go away. And you will find yourself advancing. So you do that for me. That'll be more happy birthday presents. Om Namah Shivaya.